Hello, this is Couple Gaming. Today we're gonna show you a couple of unique and interesting theme, uh, things about the new game that is coming out tomorrow, which the name of it is... Ever Something Valley. Either way, let's show you. So this like, is the first mechanic that I thought was quite interesting. Uh, you actually have ships and you can actually like shear them. And it's a very nice mini game with have a little bit of a timing. Go. As you can see you can move the goddamn ship and you actually press F to cut it. And the faster you cut it, that will be the, your best time. At the moment we're at 12 seconds, 13 seconds, 14 seconds, 15. Then we did a ship in 16 goddamn seconds. And now as you can see the ship is actually very um square i guess <laughs> yeah like um yeah, then it's so small. yeah that's a very ship so i'm gonna show you just one more and we're gonna try to actually do it much faster this time to show that's a true true professional ship shearer right here by the anus cavity as well and we had it in 12 seconds great job okay let's go to the second mechanic which is the milking of cows yeah i know it's stupid but it's very interesting so you grab a cow then you have her utters and then you literally can um press a and d and actually like milk them titties uh and you can also aim with the mouse in case you want to do it like uh double teaming on them titties i swear to god i'm trying to say children's games over here but it sounds very as you can see the milk is going into the bucket the cow is very happy about us milking it I'm gonna grab all them titties and milk all of them titties even though she should be a lot more than two but we're just gonna move on okay that is the second type of mechanic and uh i guess you already saw the shear is probably the same for the llama yeah, it's okay now the third mechanic that is very interesting is uh the cha cutting wood uh, wait, let's see one. if we have wood on us to show you the demonstration if not, we're just gonna quickly grab some wood. We're definitely, I don't know why, weren't exactly prepared for this because um, that was the whole main point of the game. Okay, let's quickly go to the cutter right here. You press E to sew them bitches, and then you literally go with the mouse button, as you can see. Then you have planks. Actually, a board, but whatever. Yeah, that's a great minigame right there. You just need to follow it up. Okay, that's enough minigame. Now, I forgot what number was it. Uh, okay, fourth interesting things you actually have. You have a basket up there on the right uh, in the item bars. As you can see, you don't need to actually have it in your hand. But let's say your crops are ready, like they are right here. You just have the basket in your inventory. And as you can see, it automatically collects everything. Uh, that includes uh, mushrooms, uh, wild shit, uh, even bugs, bugs, trees, I mean chopped trees, instead of just pressing E on it. They are automatically collected. So, oh, sticks. sticks, absolutely everything you can think about, they it automatically collects it, which is a very interesting situation. You also have mini games to teach the dogs and things like that. We don't actually have the treats at the moment, but you can actually um, make the dog hunt things. And now let's go straight for the cooking mini game that we actually have. Don't you want to show the mini games with the? Yeah, sure, take it. But after the cooking. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna show you right now it's the cooking, and after that the mini games with the cats. And actually slash dogs, let's say. Okay, we got the milk jug. And now we're just gonna quickly gonna go to the uh, cooking. Uh, Did you know you can fill the water bottles with water? You can also fill the water bottles with water, but that's not an interesting mechanic. No, but I need it for the recipe. True, true. But you can still do that. I mean, it's interesting in a meh way, I guess. Pretty common. And then we're just quickly gonna go to the cooking uh, outpost right here, and then you can actually cook like a proper little mini game. You have a lot of recipes. You just need uh, you have soup, berries, things like that. So now let's just try the most simplest one. Let's go with a milkshake. 
and we're just gonna add the ingredient and as you can see we just press cooking on it and now we actually need to keep the temperature in the green so we do not burn it or wreck the pot of milky as you can see the milk is definitely milking over there we fell that one okay you need to stop it perfectly that's the thing just takes a little bit of time to get used to it and now we created the milkshake and yeah, it's a nice little unique situation most of the games you actually just place them there and they cook themselves so I guess that's an interesting little thing if you are uh, into this sort of things and now let's uh, let us quickly show you the last unique thing that we actually discovered for the moment is you can actually play some mini games and train your dogs slash cat and if you pet them they will follow you so right now we have a stick in our hands that's our bear right there aka our dog and then we just throw the stick and the dog will go and be a retard he's searching, he's searching for the stick he found the stick he's actually had it in his mouth he lets the stick hold down and as you can see the little icon right there it's actually going up because with this if you have special treats you can actually put him to search you for items and you can also herd uh, animals with the dog to get them into your space which is a perfect situation if you ask me yeah with the whistle so we also have uh, you know smoking bees so you can capture them but i think that's pretty normal in most games to be honest with you that you have bees it's generally smoking huh? and then we're gonna end it with the quick whistle that you can actually command the dog to go in uh, a certain direction you want as you can see he's following the whistle like a cat so yeah those are uh, a couple of unique things that are in this game. Thank you for watching and see you guys on the next episode. Peace, peace.